aerospace sector is an innovative sector fit for the new bioeconomy. It's in full transformation with sustainable practices, technology development, product innovation with information and communications technology use. It has the right components to be a major contributor to the bioeconomy, all the while supporting the rural economy. The forest-based sector technology platform is an industry-driven platform for collaboration in research, development and innovation. It maintains a constant dialogue with European institutions. Our research also focuses on energy and resource efficiency improvements. Key enabling technologies applied in our sector create a league of new advanced materials and opens up new markets. Our sector represents a green carbon chain that is constantly renewing itself by the means of sustainable forest management schemes. It's an endless cycle that captures and removes green carbon. Reconciling sustainability and competitiveness in the areas of energy efficiency and production becomes a reality. This goes hand in hand with the fact that woodworking and paper industries prepare for eco-design standards. Recycling of forest-based products encompasses resource efficiency and underlines the sustainability concept that had been invented and developed within the forest-based sector. Now let's take a look at those innovations, new products and technologies in the forest-based sector today. Doing more with less is one of the ultimate aims of research and development and innovation in the sector. It also makes good business sense. The European forest-based sector is working on new product areas by extending its use of biomass to other products. By integrating biorefinery operations in our industrial process, the sector is set to produce a wide variety of sustainable materials. In this way, the forest-based sector increases value to the European economy. Latest tree planting machines can now deliver effective soil preparation and planting on all types of soil. They provide full scope regeneration functions from scarification to planting. New harvesting head machinery combines excellent geometry, precise measurement, powerful feed and cutting, making it optimally efficient and economical for foresters. In the last decades, a new portfolio of innovative products entered the construction market, creating new ways to use wood in buildings on large scale and small scale. One good example is glue line beams that can have a length of 300 meters span without any pillars and that lead to a totally new way of constructing large scale buildings. A joint Swiss-French team was awarded on their breakthrough research in the area of wood welding. This is a mechanical friction process allowing to assemble timber without any adhesive in a very quick manner. In the ICT era, paper and board products are already able to interact with the user by delivering additional and timely information. Paper of the future can be temperature sensitive, tell you whether the fruits are ripe or young by changing colour of a label, and it can even follow health records and remind you when to take your medicines. A heap of new products made from wood components and byproducts of paper are available today. Viscose from wood is used in textile and for cosmetics, and vanillin is a byproduct used for food additives. Another example is the production of insulation material from paper recycling residues. Only two millimeters thick, Duripulp can bear weight, tension and humidity, as well as temperature changes. The PLA encapsulates the paper fibers to create a material as strong as wood, steel or hard plastic. A renowned trio of designers made use of this durable material to wow guests at the Milan Furniture Fair with a design of the children's chair Parupu, meaning pulp in Japanese. The European forest-based sector is fit for the future. It is an innovative industry which supplies essential products to consumers in line with society values. The forest-based sector, a major contributor to today's and tomorrow's bioeconomy.